Hi everybody, welcome back. Here we are. We're in our science building and boy has it been a while. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. Nothing major except for one thing. I finally got around to building our lumber mill. So take a look um, at our little montage of me building the darn thing. Um, it's been a while. Obviously my car troubles have prevented me from recording in the studio. So I did this probably, I recorded that probably about two or three weeks ago. So uh, it'll be a treat for me to kind of review, too. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy it. See you soon. So here I am. I am putting on the frames of the lumber mill, the kind of the log frame. This is the style of building I like to do best. Uh, Bruno, of course, was wandering around like a crazy dog, like he is. Here he is. He's jumping into that little pond behind the building. At some point, I had to try to track him down and get him to sit inside the building because he had a tendency to get trapped underneath the water wheel and to start to drown, and we couldn't have that. But anyway, the first thing I do in my style of buildings is I try to put on the log frames to give myself an idea of how big the building will be, where the support structures are going to go. Um, that was an accident, putting that little log out in the corner like that, or in the middle like that, but I decided I liked it, and I, I would return to the like a central log beam idea that you'll see once this uh, little montage is done. Um, this, the ladders, I made the ladders so that I can get on top, back on top of the frame and uh, make like a roof structure out of planks. So here I am, I'm coming up. There's Bruno sitting down inside the building. There's that A-frame made out of planks that I was showing you. That's going to be the support for um, stairs. And then, of course, I'm also probably going to cut a hole out of the middle of it, give myself some windows. Uh, this was a kind of a long build. Uh, I spent probably two or three nights, uh, Minecraft nights, working on it. And, of course, I ran out of oakwood logs and planks, so I had to go far afield and get some more. This is one of the more interesting parts of the build, I think, is this side entryway. So I figured if this is a lumber mill and we're going to be dragging logs inside of it, we need like a bigger area in which the logs can kind of fit inside the building. And the only way to do that would be to kind of cut a hole in it. Uh, here I am moving the ladder. And uh, the, this this area was, kind of, I think it makes the building look a lot nicer. It's, a, it's one of the bigger buildings that I, I've made. Um, I don't tend to make very big buildings. But of course I'm st extending the platform out because this will be... Um, covered by a new entryway. You'll see the completed thing when we're all done here. But I had a lot of fun with this thing. Um, I again was listening to another podcast while I was doing this. I think that's the best way to do these kind of builds. Is just kind of settle in, you know, give yourself some time, play around with how you look like it, and just go from there. So yeah, not a not a bad build in my opinion. Pretty fun. Wow, what did you think? Quite a build, huh? In fact, let's um, let's do a little review of some of the things I've been doing so we can get jumping back into our Minecraft world. First of all, I've been making compressed aluminum plates in our compressor. And all you've got to do for that is put an aluminum ingot here and an aluminum ingot there. I've been storing them in here. Uh, there we go. We've got 21 steel, 10 aluminum. The next thing we've got to compress are these bad boys. And these are blocks of bronze. So I'm going to dig one up. Um, I'm going to turn it into ingots. In fact, let's get two. Number two. Turn this one into ingots. Like so. There we go. And now we can put in nine here and nine there, and we'll bang up some uh, bronze plating, and all that's needed for our heavy duty plates. And if I recall, let's see, rocket, here it is, tier one rocket, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And how many in the nose cone? 25, 26, and 27. So I think we need 27 heavy-duty plates, if I'm not mistaken. 
or maybe that's plus four more 31 it's a lot <laughs> and already we've got some compressed bronze but uh, I'll let that bang up for a little bit and I'll show you some of the other things that I've been doing obviously you saw those block of bronze over there in the science building that I had moved over and checking our chest here I've made other blocks. I've got 12 blocks of copper, two more blocks of brawn, a block of gold, aluminum, iron, and tin. So, and all that's been doing is basically in the old tank here, I've been putting things in like this aluminum and letting that smelt up and then turning it into blocks when I'm able. Over here, you can see I made myself another barrel, another better barrel for sand. And I moved, instead of having them all stretch along the black back wall, I put the dirt and the sand on top of the cobblestone and the marble cobblestone. And uh, eventually, I think probably I'm going to need to do one for gravel. But uh, that's, that's on the list of things to do, I think. Bruno is still being Bruno. Doesn't really do anything uh, different inside the house. I'll just show you. I did find in an epic battle a creeper head. So I figured it would look nice over here next to the zombie. Um, over here, we've collected more brains, zombie brains. I've got a full stack of brains for Bruno here. What else can I show you? I didn't really do a whole lot in the agricultural center. At least I don't think that I did. Like I said, it's been quite, kind of a while. So let's just take a quick peek. I have been um, harvesting some more things. So we've got a little bit more food. Um, a little bit more seeds, more essence dust. Um, yeah, I've planted some things. I've I'm definitely been coming over here and harvesting cotton balls. Oops, missed one. The sprinkler is going good. Of course, it's coming out of the uh, out of our field and causing this grass to grow, but that's okay. Um. I've been picking our berry bushes, so blueberry and raspberry. They're finally a 3x3 three three block tall. But hey, check it out. Here is our lumber mill, and I think I'm pretty proud of it. Um, a lot of work, putting, especially putting on like a little side area. I figure this will be the side for where logs can come in. I've got an open water wheel area. Because I like the idea of having that turn, or being able to see it turn, even though it doesn't really. I'm sure there's probably some mod I could install to get it to move. But uh, I'm just going to leave it like that. I've got a stairs here. So in case I want to store anything up here, I don't know. Maybe more trees or different, different types of trees, I can do that. Still got our squeezer, still got our carpenter. I probably should bring more seed oil. I've already got a seed oil can going. And of course, um, I've got another impregnated casing. Look at that. So I could make myself another apiary, which probably isn't a bad idea. In fact, let's, let's type in apiary. And it is... How do we make these things again? Oh, man. I, I don't remember. I think it's slabs on the top, planks on the side with the impregnated casing in the middle. I forgot that um, the the recipe is not in not enough items, not in my version of it. And another thing we've got to do is we've got to fill in um, the the empty place places here with. So let's go back to our our smeltery building because I know we've got a ton of glass in there. Haven't done anything with the cows or the sheep or the chickens. Looks like somebody's wearing a hat. Um, and I haven't done a whole lot with the bees. Like I said, it's been... I haven't really been playing a lot of Minecraft these past couple weeks. Let's see. Okay, in here. Yes. 11 glass. 55. You can see I've got two more lava buckets. Just in case. And yes, 24 molten aluminum. Let's slap some more in there. And let that go. Alright, over to the ag building. And that is right here. 
And let's see if we can't try to figure out the recipe for, uh, what do you call that thing? I think I need slabs. A recipe for an apiary. So get some planks, get some slabs, and let's see, impregnated casing, slabs on the top, I believe, like this, like that. Yes, another apiary. We did it. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, I remembered. That's kind of cool. Put slabs in here, put the oak planks in there. And oh, I've got the cotton that I just picked. So we'll put the cotton picking cotton in the cotton slot over here. In fact, I could turn that into the wool, but I don't really need to right at the moment. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to install some windows. So yeah, this was a this was a fun build. I liked uh, what we did with the place. Um, obviously, I'm going to need to make more plain more. What do you call those? Uh, panes. So, like so, 16, 32, 48, let's 59, let's try 59 and see how far that gets us. So, back here, like that. I'm not sure what else I could tell you. Um, I think my Minecraft Realms uh, world has officially expired. I haven't, I haven't purchased, uh, purchased it, and I'm not sure if I've lost that world I showed you in the last news update. I might have. It might be gone forever. Um, because with the car that I had to buy with everything, I don't think I can afford to keep doing it. It's a, it's relatively cheap. It just wasn't something I was using very often because I've got all these other Minecraft worlds and projects that I work on. Let's see. Here, there, there, there. Nice to watch the moon rise. Up here, I've got skylights and I'm going to have to use um, actual uh, glass cubes for that. So get those out and I'm going to want I'm trying to see if I can if I can fit them up there from up here. I like the idea of having a cross beam of support. That was kind of, I thought that was a neat idea. Oh, yeah. There we go. And one more. There we go. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's put some things away. And let's actually, let's go to bed first. And then we'll install our new apiary. All right. So, okay. Um... Let's put our glass away first. First things first, put the glass away. Now that our lumber mill is all nice and completed and done. So, glass panes down there, glass cubes there. This probably isn't the best place to be storing these, but uh, I really can't think of any place else at the moment. Let's see. Uh, let's check here. Oh, yep, more molten aluminum. Molten aluminum. Put in the last little bit, put that at the bottom, and get that to spill out. Excellent. What do you think, Bruno? How about we come over here to our science building before we... Oh, bad guys. And one more. There we go. All right. So here we are in our science building. I believe, yep, our compressed bronze has melted up. Let's grab out our compressed aluminum and our compressed steel. Let's put these things together. Like that. And it's not working. <laughs> I thought it would work. What am I not doing right here? Compressed heavy-duty plate. Heavy duty plate. Oh, hey, look, heavy duty helmet. Oh, wow. Wow. I can make space armor. That looks pretty cool. All it is is compressed steel. But I want heavy duty plate. So, to make that, 
you need oops um let's see heavy we're typing heavy there it is it is steel aluminum and bronze and it looks like it's two layers of it that's probably what i did wrong so steel aluminum bronze there we go excellent all right so now last things first or first things last I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go to the apiary, uh, the bee area. All right, you know what? I actually made a mistake. I think what I need to do is I'm coming over here to our lumber mill and I'm grabbing out some bronze and I'm grabbing out some sticks because I think I need to make myself some more uh, grafters. I'm not sure I have any more left. Oop, we'll go four. Excellent. Now, let's go over to the B area. What do you think, Bruno? A lot of hard work lately. But I think we're getting there. All right, here we are. We're at our um, B area. This is our apiary. This is a bee house. Now, of course, um, what I've been saying about bee houses is that they don't do the genetic um, mixing of species. Uh, they don't do a lot of the tree stuff that I think we want them to do. Maybe I should replace this one. So I'll have apiary, bee house, apiary, bee house, probably apiary at some point. So we'll take this one down. Boom. Look at that. And now put down the apiary. And let's put in the ignoble forest princess along with the meadows drones. And let's see if we can't get some... Uh, Mutated bees. Hopefully we're going to get, um, well, what do you call those things? A common drone. Something like that. So a Meadows Princess with our common drone. That would be excellent. Now do I want to try to see if I can get um, some... I'm still having a problem figuring out which of the leaves have been pollinated and which haven't. That is going to be an issue, I think. Let's see, what is that? Silver lime. Silver lime. Oh, I ruined a grafter. What am I getting here? I'm getting silver limes. Silver limes. How about anything from the common beach? Nope. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Common beach. These silver limes are not stacking. And that silver birch is all by itself. So that must mean that there's some sort of uh, properties to those trees that are unique. But for the time being, I've been putting everything kind of in here. And just kind of not worrying too much about it. We'll get there. I'll figure out that uh, grafting issue at some point. But there we have it. So, um, pretty good review, I think, for um, after our long big break. Like I said, I'm now getting back into the studio. I'm now editing or able to edit my videos in the evening more often. So hopefully you'll see more videos from me, me and Bruno here. So thanks again for watching. Um, eventually we'll make a rocket. One thing I've got to say about the rocket is I've got an interesting installation of Minecraft here. Uh, it's kind of a, an open question whether or not if and when I make it to the moon, if the game will crash. <laughs> I, I mean, I might crash, of course, but if the game crashes and I make it to the moon, then that might be it for this world. I'm not sure. So, but we're getting closer. We'll get there soon. So thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Good luck, and goodbye.